We're back! And we're back! Thanks once again, Hungry O Tires, the best rubber you can buy. Uh, wow, what an exciting game! Oh we're here in the God. ninth inning! In the ninth inning? Woo! And uh, oh, they're. We got the whiskey out in the The Silverbacks are bringing out Roberto Ripper. I know it. It's He's coming Ripper out. Ripper time! And he is facing the heat middle of the papers lineup. Uh, coming up, one, two, three, we've got. Uh, let's see, we've got. Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong roster. Uh, ah! This is the way we do it these days. Okay, uh, the pitcher, Whitey Johnson, has been replaced by a pinch hitter, uh, Jimmy Dean McDonald. And uh, it says here I'm supposed to say this. He's not Irish. Not sure why. Arizona Papers. Uh, Jimmy Dean McDonald's not Irish, but he's hitting first. Uh, hitting second is Houston Mayo. Houston Mayo, as you know. Three holes, they call him. Three holes. Three hole Mayo. He's also a professional bowler. Professional bowler. Yep. Uh, he has. A, I don't think he's won any. Uh, what do they call a bowling? Is it a, a trophy or a you cup? Smell that. What is what? that? Woo! That smells. It. Did he say Connie? It's mustardy. Ooh, mustard. Ooh, you shove some mustard. Oh, all right. Well, uh, and and then one, two, three. We got Winnebago Hannity after that. So uh, big Winnebago tough. Hannity. Yeah, it's that's you know that's uh, he's he sounds about as American as you can get, right? Sean Hannity's third cousin from Columbia. Wow. Yeah, I thought they were gonna bring in Bubba Junk to pinch it, but uh, but no, it's Jimmy Dean McDonald. All right. Well, let's Once hear again, it. Jimmy Dean McDonald. He's not Irish. Let's hear it. All Good right, Ripper's. and uh, so Ripper, Ripper, and ladies and gentlemen, that's not his nickname. That's his real last name, Roberto Ripper. I think it's Portuguese, but here he goes and. Oh! That was a strike, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I messed up the ball to strike again. I do that uh, on occasion, ladies and gentlemen. You do. Uh, okay, so he's uh, he's up one on the count on uh, the Jimmy Dean sausage. Uh, that he kind of a kind of a motion that he has just makes you swell. Swell, like uh, makes you feel good or makes you pitch. Here comes. Oh! 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 That's a ball. Oh, wow, that one. That is a good, it was a good thing that uh, that uh, our catcher, Antonio Fuentes, got to that. Uh, <laughs> yes, and Fuentes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuentes. Is yeah, that correct? Fuentes. There we go. We got. We had a whole sports shot about it, that. You got to let, let it roll off of your tongue. Fuentes. <laughs> Fuentes. We had a whole sports it's... shot about that the other day, ladies and gentlemen. Fuentes. Oh, there's a strike. Ooh. There's a strike. At least I saw the umpire give the, fi the fist pump. I like the way I like the way in today's game the umpire on a strike game they've got him wearing the rubber number one finger. Yeah, it's pretty. Because we gave those away. Uh, well, we uh, the Silverbacks gave those away today at today's home game and uh, WKMOG. Yeah, it's uh, MOG Radio, the best in the business. And yeah, the thing I loved about it was the fact that it wasn't a number one finger; it was a finger to the Arizona Papers uh, for arresting uh, Jesus Tortilla at the plate last year. And I love it. I love the attitude. He I love the attitude his, it brings. The thing is, Jesus didn't have his papers on him when he was at second. And this is true. They the were in law that. says that when asked, you must provide papers. Yes, and he was on second, and, and he had his baseball gloves in his him, pocket. And the umpire happened to be an off-duty deputy sheriff assistant volunteer. Went right out and got him. Just cuffed him. And cuffed did a him. citizen's arrest against a non-citizen. And they add insult to injury, not only that, they cuffed him and arrested him, but then they called him out. We couldn't even bring in a pinch hitter. Well, out, and, and that ended the game. There's a rule in baseball that if a man is arrested on base, he is automatically out. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, it comes from the 1880s. Well, then, I think we should get some Denver police in here to have a look at these Arizona papers, fellas, see if they got their papers. Well, that would be good if we were in Denver, but we're in Arizona, so... Ooh, that's right, that's right. How no, drunk? no, no. How drunk are we? We're in Denver. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we're in Denver, see? See, there's the thing and the... Does that mean I have to see my wife tonight? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> Well, I mean, if she knows where the game is, it does. Well, uh, so uh, Mrs. Uh, Rodriguez, what's your, Dilbert Garcia, uh, Mrs. Garcia, if you're listening, uh, this game is being played in Arizona. We're staying at a really crappy uh, motel in Phoenix, and there's a local uh, culture club cover band downstairs. Called the Derelict Dandies. That's right, the D the DDs. The DDs. The si the, uh, remember the silent D conversation the other day? <laughs> the DTD. Wow, yeah, there you go. So there you go, Mrs. Garcia. And right now, if you tune to another channel, if you tune to another channel, there's shopping news on. So back to the game. Uh, all right. So this whiskey and hookers. 
It's what we love. Are we filming? Are we still filming? Oh, we do not love... Oh, and we're on the radio still. We do not love whiskey and hookers, ladies and gentlemen. I do like whiskey, but there's no prostitutes under the desk right now. <laughs>